Mr. McGee! Mr. McGee, don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Oh, well, we'd all love to leave early. A certain era. <laughs> really creative, and it's scary to think about the two of you getting along. Saying so, what if he's mad at me? If I say I want to, if I need to leave, oh. he's mad at me. And then I might as well be crying with laughter, guys, because these are in fact fake tears. It's a splash of water on my eyes. You know, the usual things that normal human beings do when they wake up in the morning. But Jennifer Lawrence, she's the first Doctor Who ever. The Jennifer Lawrence cringe trail continues, folks. And even more funnier and more conspiratorial, the fappening pictures. Remember those? I've seen them. Well, rumor has it, those came off the phone of a one Harvey Weinstein. Think about it, because we never really knew who actually leaked the pictures. Lawrence went into a big rage mode against Apple and said, how dare you not protect the privacy of people who take nudies on their phone. For the record, I don't know why anybody would want to do that because that's just insane to me. You keep your private business private with a Kodak camera or something else and that's absolutely fine with the consent of both parties. But Jennifer Lawrence was blaming an ex-boyfriend who took those pictures. I think the ex-boyfriend is a one Harvey Weinstein. Think about it. Come on in, Jennifer. Let's have an audition. But if, do you mind just disrobing so I can see if you're the right fit for this particular role, which probably was mystique for the X-Men. Uh, yeah, it's fine, Mr. Harvey Weinstein. Can I put my clothes back on now? Yes, you can, Jennifer. Just take your time while I take some more pictures. So the insufferability of a one Jennifer Lawrence continues, but it gets worse, folks. So Variety magazine, and I've got to say, Variety has been a champion of putting out all these interviews with Jennifer Lawrence, and they just seem to put her in the most cringiest spotlight ever. And I love it. Brian Tyree Henry on working with Jennifer Lawrence in Causeway. Jennifer, this being her first producing endeavor, because you probably wonder why no one's given her a producing gig before, because, I don't know, she screeches like a banshee. Hmm. <laughs> she was very hands-on. I'm sure she was, Brian. I, I, I mean, can you spill the beans about that, perhaps? Well, I'd like to know, uh, so I can join the queue. She started in independent film. Yes, in a film called Winterbone. Uh, um, you go and figure out that uh, title as much as you want to. You could tell that she was going back to her roots. <laughs> you know who went back to their roots? Odyssey in 1981. Stepping in my boots, mm -mm, going back to my roots, yeah. Fire James Gunn is a tweet, 25,000 tweets, oh I love it. This gets better and better, but oh my god, the Hollywood Reporter shrieks with another, oh god, I love this, no, no. A round table with cackling women around it, oh god, my nightmare is coming true. Get me out of here. Ooh. In case you don't know, I used to work for an HR department back in 2012 where I was surrounded by cackling women. It was women who thought they're above the men, who thought they deserved the bigger paycheck, but they were just shit at their jobs. And we've got to watch this, folks, because this is. Oh, well, let's go. Man, for it. I've, I've worked. She's, I think, my third female director and she's they, they are the uh, calmest uh, best decision makers I've ever worked with I have and probably the worst drivers if you saw Jennifer Walters in she Hulk in America was a virgin Look out! <laughs> Look how much makeup Jennifer Lawrence has 
planted on her face. Look at me, a guy who's into his mid years. Not a freckle, nothing out of place. I am just as natural as they come, folks. And I guess who else is natural? Sigourney Weaver. Remember, Sigourney Weaver wasn't the first action female hero. Of course she wasn't. There was the Russ Mayer films. But Jennifer Lawrence will tell you, not only was she the first Doctor Who, but she was the first female action hero ever. Let's carry on. This is a shriek-tastic, really bad interview. We listen to each other's point of views. Really? Sometimes I was wrong and would learn that I was wrong. and. Sometimes I was right. <laughs> yeah, of course, because you're insufferable, Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> um, and it was it was incredible to not be around toxic masculinity. Oh no! <laughs> Uh, ladies, can I just point one biological fact out here? Who helped bring you out into the world? The woman has the hardest job, and the man has probably the easiest job, which might in itself be insufferable. Just remember that. Break from it, and we would always, it, it did always just kind of make us laugh about how we are, you know, how we ended up with the, um, you know, women shouldn't be in roles like this because we're just so emotional. And we're just, you know, so, and it's just, I have seen. Now, I just want to point something out here, Jennifer Lawrence, uh, Chris Martin, the guy from Coldplay, who is married or was married to an insufferable bent called Gwyneth Paltrow and her poopy doopies. And he dated Jennifer Lawrence. He dated your dumbass for a, a short while. I wonder why he left you high and dry, because you probably screeched like a banshee, perhaps? I mean, I've worked with Brian Singer. I've seen, I've seen emotional men. I've seen. She worked to Brian Singer. Hmm. Yeah, the man who's an alleged kitty diddler. But uh, then again, you worked with him. Did he really enjoy working with you? Because I'd like to hear his side of the story. I mean, the biggest pissy fits I've ever seen thrown on set. I've, been, I've watched a man. I've, I've watched. She's Can I just point out here, guys? I want to reiterate one more time, my worst I've ever nightmare seen ever. Thrown on set. I've, been, I've watched a man, I've, I've watched... I just realized that's Michelle Yeoh. Holy shit. What would Jackie Chan say about his former co-star? Defect into Hollywood and he end up on a round table with cackling hens. Oh shit, man. <laughs> I've seen, I've seen emotional men. Whoa, 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 whoa. I've seen, I mean, the biggest hissy fits I've ever seen thrown on set. Oh, okay. Well, we'd all love to leave early. <laughs> we'd put our heads together and go, okay, how can we feel? He gets mad at me if I say I want to, if I need to leave at eight. Mm -hmm. And then he's mad at me and then tomorrow, I, you know. It's he, gonna be strange. Yeah, he's it's gonna be weird and, and gonna awkward. Be... He's gonna say things, something that's gonna make me uncomfortable. You know, it's, it's a, it's, it can be a fragile. Mm -hmm. Before we begin, I just wanna congratulate Harvey and his wife Georgina on the birth of their new baby boy. Thank you. Harvey gave us just what we needed, another him. <laughs> this because we're just so emotional and we're just you know so and it's just I have seen I mean I've worked with Brian Singer I've seen I've seen him Well, folks that was another very exciting video brought to you today from yours truly and speaking of which, hello, hello. She doesn't say much, but boy, she sure does look damn good, don't she? <laughs> and if you enjoyed this video today, make sure you leave a like, make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to hit the super thanks button if you feel that way inclined. And if I were you, and if you were me, and maybe if you were her, then maybe you should come back and watch the next video.